This is an early introduction to Comp 2503 for Fall 2021. And before I get started, just want to show you myself, your teacher extraordinaire or something for this semester. I am Jordan Kidney. And you don't need to stare at my face now because you'll get to see it enough when we have live lectures, but also through all of these videos that I'll be creating so that we have backups and other ways to see these lectures. So we'll go back to the slides for now and we will start stepping through. So who am I? Said, I'm Jordan Kidney. I have a master's in computer science where I originally specialized in artificial intelligence, but nowadays I spend more time just trying to actually be a decent, if not good, teacher. I have been teaching in some form, so as a teaching assistant or sessional instructor or contract teacher for about the last 18 years. And I've taught at Mount Royal University for 11 years, and this is about the fourth time I've taught this course specifically. Here you can see my email where you can always reach me, but you can also see my cell phone number, 403-922-8839. Now, when it comes to my cell phone number, please just text me to communicate through the through my cell phone. I am accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's okay to send me a text message at any time, and I'll do my best to get back to you as fast as I possibly can. I only request that if you text me for the first time, just let me know your name and what course you're in so I can add you to my phone. And I will guarantee that I will not contact you back unless A, you've sent me a message or B, there's something like emergency like I haven't heard from you in a while or you haven't had an assignment or you're missing a test or something else comes up. I will respect your privacy. So lectures and tutorials. So this semester, as far as plans go right now as recording of today, uh, we will be having live lectures. So all lectures will also have a pre-recorded component posted to YouTube. So what I'm trying to do here is give people flexibility. So I will still be doing the live lectures, but I will always try to create uh, recorded videos of the lectures beforehand done here in my own office and post them up to YouTube so that if you want to go back and re-review material or if you miss a class or you're uncomfortable coming to campus, you can decide to actually watch the actual videos. But I still will having live lectures and we will be having uh, one midterm and a final that will be in person. Uh, my plan so far now is to use tutorials kind of in a different way than I've done in the past. So instead of just going through some examples, I'll try to give you hands-on direction on how to work on the actual assignments. So this means like taking the actual question and maybe stepping you through some parts of it to get you started on what to do and then you finish and complete the rest. And also then giving time to give guided help as we go. So what this means is that every Friday when we have our tutorials, if you come, you will be working on the actual assignment and getting it done instead of maybe waiting till the last day to get everything done. So tutorials will be a valuable thing and I will do my best to make sure they're valuable time and make sure that every tutorial that we go to, you will have help and have completed some portion of the assignment each time. Now this doesn't mean that you can complete the entire assignment during just tutorial time. You will actually still have to, as usual, spend some time outside of class, but I'm hoping that these tutorials will help you give more guidance where you need it. Now help for me, I'm trying to make sure that I'm as easily accessible as I can be. So one, as I said, is sending me a text message for help, sending me an email, uh, booking a time for a phone call, or a video call or an inter internet voice call. I'm flexible from this. So. Now, to get started before everything else, you actually have a task, which the term I'm using to replace test and assignment since they'll just kind of be mashed together, is to a task is that you have one due already by September 20th. It is a very, very simple one that'll only take you maybe five to 10 minutes to fill out a survey and you will get 2% for filling it in. Now the point of this survey is to help me, your instructor, learn your names faster, learn a little bit more about you and start connecting earlier on. It'll also help you to set like a basis of your relation to coding in here. And like just get me helps me get to know the students better since we have 57 people currently in the course right now. 
you will find the link in um, on the Blackboard website itself. So you look under all, all tasks or from that week, you will see the current task or in the email that has been sent out. Uh, just make sure that when you go to work on the the link. If it gives you any problems, then just make sure to check that you are signed out of any other Gmail accounts that you have and that at least you're logged into your Mount Royal Gmail account. Now, to make this even easier, like I said, I would always help you on tasks, is that part of that task has just some optional questions you need to fill out, and I'll show you it later on. But there are three questions that you have to give answers for, and so I'm giving you the answers right here, right now. So a good idea would be to maybe pause this video, go open that task, start filling it in, and then take these answers for the quest, for, for the questions. So the first question you have to answer is, how many tasks do we have in this course? Five, including this one. Uh, next question is, how can you request help from your instructor? Well, I've got them exactly listed here. It was on that previous slide, and you'll find it on multiple places on the actual Blackboard page. So to answer the question, you can summarize this, or you can copy and paste it and just put it into the question. And the very last one is, uh, where can you view the rubric, i.e. the mark breakdown and your marks for individual tasks in the course Blackboard page? Well, the clearly described steps for this is to go to the course Blackboard page, click on My Grades, and then click on View Rubric. So when you click on your grades, underneath each grade, you'll see an individual link for View Rubric. And from there, you can then click to see the individual breakdown. Now, what do I want from you? First off is honesty. Like, please just talk to me if you're having issues. You don't need to go into any private details or anything else. Just be honest if there's some issues, like you need an extension for an assignment or something else is coming up. I Please just try to be honest with me. I know it can be difficult when it comes to talking with teachers, but I'm hoping that I can create an environment where you feel comfortable enough to come and talk to me. I'll do my best along those times. Now, also what I want is responsibility from you, that this is a third year, a third programming course, and I want you to keep up with any missed material. So if you miss something, it's all going to be on the Blackboard. You'll have access to the slides, and you'll have access to the actual recorded video of a pre-recorded video of the lecture itself. So it's your responsibility to go through that material and make sure that you are up to date and not coming to me, say, in the last few days of classes wanting to know the entire course material summed up in one hour. It's not going to be possible for me. So I need you to keep up with this and combine that with that honesty of what you can actually finish and what you can do. And I just want everyone to work together on this. Uh, as usual, check your school emails regularly. You know that's the one way that we can contact to get hold of you. And make sure to access everything through the Blackboard page and also through the course Google page. Now for course materials, there is no textbook for the course. In the course outline, there is a list of some optional books if you want to get it, uh, get it, and there's some links to some free data structure books if you need access to other material. But there's tons of material and data structures and algorithms online. So that's why I decided that we don't need to have another expensive textbook for this course. Uh, the posted slides will act as your textbook for it, and anything that we do when it comes to the midterm and final and tasks will be based upon what I've presented in class or any additional readings I've given to you. And if there's any additional readings, I will post them to the Blackboard page and I will let you know. Now for when it comes to assessments for this semester, basically break, broken down into three components to get your overall final grade. You have the five individual tasks that are worth a total of 45%. There is the midterm exam. We're only having one midterm that'll be after the reading break. The date you can already see in the actual, it's posted, it'll be posted in multiple spots, but you can find it in the course outline. But the midterm will be worth 25%. It'll be held in class, for, and you'll have an hour and 20 minutes for that exam. And then the final exam will also be written. You'll be a scheduled three hour final exam, but you should expect that I'll design a test that should be for two hours, but you'll be given three hours to work on it. And due to the limitations of the class size, we will not have an in-lab exam. This will be an on paper exam. Now, when it comes to the late policy in the course, which this will be very lax, even so it sounds strict in the beginning, 
is that everything is due by the indicated time and due date and any late tasks will lose 10% per day including weekends and will not be accepted past five days. And this is just if I don't hear from you. Because if something comes up, please just contact me at any time, even if it's after the due date for the actual task itself. So if you need extra time, it's a good thing to tell me beforehand. If you find out it's the day of or after, and I say I haven't already contacted to see what's going on, please still just contact me and ask me for that extension, and I'll give you that penalty free extension. I don't see why I wouldn't. The only pressure that will come when it comes to the midterm and final is that you must make sure you're there for that day unless something really major comes up. Uh, we can try to work things out, but those are the one key points that we need to have in the actual course. So the deadlines for that will be strict. Now, keeping this, this first part of the introduction quick, I just want to stop now. We'll have more when it comes to the rest of the first introduction lecture, and you'll see that in the next video, and when you see me in actual person, where I will start with this similar video. But before going on, I want to just stop and go to the actual Blackboard page and show you that first. Okay. Boom. And we'll make everything bigger so it's easier for you to read and see. So from here, as usual, I just want to go quickly through the Blackboard page. I'm trying to set stuff up. Not all material is there yet because I'm trying to organize and update all the information. But you can find my instructor information and my contact information. You can also then see my current actual schedule. textbooks, the due dates for all the current tasks and when the midterm will actually be, and the rough breakdowns of topics and timelines for what we will go through. You also have then the course Google Drive link. So the course Google Drive is where I'll have a second backup of everything that you find on the Blackboard page except for your grades will be on the course Google Drive. So you will find all the lecture slides in PowerPoint and in PDF. You will find copies of lecture videos. So you can download them for offline watching. And that you see here. This section here that's for groups is just a small discussion board that I've set up that I know and I know a lot of students have different subgroups of their own Discord or whatever chat channels that you have to communicate with each other. Uh, if you want to create your own student groups where you work together and share information, hopefully not sharing assignments because it'd be nice for everyone to learn on their own from stuff. But if you want to have your own groups and you like people to join, please post them there. Uh, I will promise I will not join or monitor these groups. That's your private spaces. I will only join if someone from that group requests or the group itself requests that I be part of it to help monitor some of the chats or include quick questions from groups. Otherwise, any groups that are posted from here, I will not check or monitor at all. And it's just meant for you students to have a place in this class to connect together, especially when there's 57 people and depending on where people are. Otherwise, next you have your My Grades, which you will see the breakdown of all of your actual grades and where you can see the actual rubric itself. It's not much here right yet. You have the bonus tasks, which are basically something I want to do to help you earn bonus marks by just taking care of yourself and taking care of other people. So the bonus tasks themselves, you can see a whole breakdown right here is the idea these are points that you earn throughout the entire semester. And at the end, I am just going to take all your points and times it by 0 0.10. Uh, and that amount of percent will be added to your grade. So and this is after the final is marked and after everything else. And these are all bonus percents that are added on actual top of it. And the idea is that every week, so basically going from Saturday to like Saturday to the following Friday afterwards, there are four things that you can actually do and you can submit through this Google form here and just one form submission, selecting the ones you've done for that week, put it in, I see it, and then I will read them and I will update the actual points that you have on the Blackboard page itself. 
and they're easy ones things like get up and move like what have you done to say move around or do something to not related to school uh, working out dancing whatever doing something different that you're capable of doing yourself uh, what have you done to sit down and relax is there something you just want to share with me that you found interesting or whatever else and like also did you help anyone this week so was it helping someone in a course in this course in other courses just in your life in general just let me know about it because i think these are all good things for building a better society and making sure that we take care of ourselves and so that we can take care of other people uh, next you will have all tasks and so this is where you can always come as, as the tasks are actually created they will all be under here so the forms where you can go and everything's going to be through Google Forms submission. Um, now, you'll also see each of these tasks under the corresponding content area for the weeks of material that we're working on. So you'll see this in multiple spots. Finally, you've got the breakdown here. You can see one to six. Basically, this is me breaking the course into two to three week chunks of actual topics and you'll see this also in the breakdown of the course outline and the idea is that okay from September 9th to 26th under this section you will find all the material that you need to cover for that time so as of this day for recording here so I'm still putting things together you will not see much here yet but this will be added to as we keep going through the semester so you can see contact information course outline the actual link for the first task itself. So good time to go do it. And then where this video will be posted and the PowerPoints and everything for it. And then the rest of the videos for this time. So you can kind of get used to this kind of organization that you will know where everything is. And when it comes to the videos, I'm gonna do my best on my schedule to at least try to have the videos for the current week we're in will be posted the week before. So you can review them early before the lectures or try to get ahead, but they will be there and you can expect from that. Other than that, to not keep this too long since you got more videos to go through and lectures and everything else, I will pause now. But I want to remind you that you're awesome. And if you don't think you're awesome, you're wrong. I disagree with you 100%. Even if I haven't met you, I think you're awesome. And you should remember that. And I look forward to seeing all of you in person since it's been a long time since myself and a lot of other people have had in-person lectures and I have truly missed them. Other than that, please take care of yourself and those around you and have a good day.